Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Filmora 12. Okay, so I have Filmora 12 beta version. This is the first beta version of the software and they will release the final beta version soon. By the way, it is interesting to show you all the new features and changes in the software. And first thing first, Filmora 12 will be released in December 2022. And if you purchase Filmora 11 within 90 days, you are free to upgrade to this latest version. Also, for other users, you may have to pay some extra money to upgrade to this latest version. Okay. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is about the start page. They have rearranged the start page. For example, here, this is Femora 12. And now on the left side of the window, you have the create project button, which is similar to Femora 11. Okay. And the next option is cloud project. So this is Wondershare cloud server. If you have a license of Filmora, you have one gigabyte free. Okay, so you can upload your project and media to this server. Okay, here. And it is a creator hub, which is uh, some tutorial about the software. Okay, so let's go back to create project button. Okay, and here you can easily see a small chain right here. And now they show all the important features of the program here in the slideshow or stuff like that. You can click here to see more. And now here you have your recent project in thumbnail preview. And actually you can change it to list view also with this option. And if you want to see thumbnail review, you can click here. Okay, so this is the start page. And the next thing is the new user interface. I'm going to open my recent project. Uh, for example, this one, just double click to open it. Okay, so this is the new user interface of Filmora 12. And if you open the program the first time and the user interface or the layout look different, you can easily change to, to this one. Okay, so here we have the layout option. Just click here. And now this is the classic one. I normally refer the classic one because that is similar to Filmora 11. By the way, they set a default layout for the program. With this one, the default one, you can easily switch the layout to this one. Just click here. And now you see here, we have a timeline here down at the bottom. And we have a preview window at the center. And on the right side is the project information. And if you click anything on the timeline, for example, I can select this video. You will see the property of the object. Okay. So here we have the video, audio, color, speed, and something like that. Go to back to video. You will have the mask and the AI tools and also the animation. So this is the new way to show your property. Okay. By the way, if you are Filmora 11 user, you may be familiar with the classic layout, okay? Just click here to switch to your classic layout. I'm going to click here at the classic layout, and now we have Filmora 11 layout. Uh, it is easy, right? And talking about the layout, if you have two monitors or stuff like that, you can change the layout to dual mode, which is very interesting because many people request this feature. Now with Filmora 12, we can easily pin the preview window to our second monitor. Okay, you can just click here at the layout option and you have this one, the dual mode. And being mentioned that this dual mode is only available when your computer is at extended mode on your window, okay? And the next chance is the shape of the object on the timeline. For example, if you select any object on the timeline, now you will see it is a rounded shape instead of a square shape like Filmora 11. And I think this shape is better for us to reveal the timeline or to see any object on the timeline. Okay, if you select anything, for example, this is a title. You see that? Uh, it is not in square. It is in rounded square. So you see the corner here, the rounded corner here. Okay, so this is for the object on the timeline. Added to that, they also change something here. For example, now we don't have the elements for the anymore. Uh, this is the sticker. And I have no idea why they just changed the name of the folder. Okay, and we don't see the split screen button right here also. But don't worry, it is just inside this template button. If you select the template button, you see here we have a template and we have a split screen template right here. I don't know why. Why they just change the name of the folder. Okay, so these are some changes in the user interface. By the way, there are some, some other changes here, but uh, for me, I don't think it is necessary to mention in this video. All right, so let's talk about some new interesting feature of Filmora 12. And the first one is the most expected feature, freehand mask. Okay, so let me show you. And uh, let's delete everything on the timeline first. 
and I'm going to use uh, just a stock video okay for example this one let's just run and drop it onto the timeline and extend it okay so if you want to use the freehand mask all you need to do is to double click at the video on the timeline just double click and now just select here the mask tab and then you see this pen tool or draw mask you want to click here and then now you can draw around your subject for example i can just click here and click here and if you want to draw a curved line all you need to do is to press and hold your on key on your keyboard just hold your on key and then click here and then adjust the part okay and click here and here and here and here i'm going to draw a mask around this subject okay a quick quick mask around this subject okay and then you want to close the mask just click here and now we have a mask right here a added to that you can also add keyframe to your mask also for example here if you want to add keyframe to your mask you want to go to the left side and now you want to click this option to add the keyframe okay and now you want to move some frame forward maybe one or two frame it's up to you and now you can adjust the mask just double click at the video again and then you can adjust the mask like this and you can also add more point to your mask add more point and you can also select a point and then delete a point on your mask easily you can also adjust the blur strength and you can also extend the mask right here or you can shrink the mask like this okay and adjust the opacity or style like that so it is very interesting to have this freehand mask in Filmora. i will make a detailed tutorial on how to use this freehand mask in Filmora 12 when it is official release on my youtube channel okay so that is the first new feature and the next interesting new feature in Filmora 12 is about the adjustment layer many people ask for this feature okay for example you have some video clip here on the timeline and if you want to do color correction or stuff like that uh, with the adjustment layer it is possible now in Filmora 12 okay all you need to do is to go back to your media and now you will see the adjustment layer here just click here and select the preset here and now you have the adjustment layer all you need to do is to drag and drop it on the timeline and put it at the top track right here okay and shorten it to the length of the video and now you can do the color correction on the adjustment layer only okay for example you can just double click at the adjustment layer and select color for example you can easily add the lot to all of your video with the adjustment layer just click here double click here and now the lot will be applied to all of the video on the timeline okay and let's play it see Add it to that if you want to adjust the color at the adjustment layer you can do it also okay for example i can increase the temperature here and reduce the teen stuff like that for the basic one and also increase the brightness any change in the adjustment layer will affect all the video below it okay so like this very interesting and another interesting about the adjustment layer is that you can also add keyframe to your adjustment layer. For example, at this position, you want to keyframe the contrast and you can just click here at the keyframe option. And now you want to reduce the contrast. Okay. And also if you want to keyframe the temperatures, you can just click here and reduce the temperature. And now you can go to the next position and then you can adjust the temperature we will automatically add the keyframe to your adjustment layer okay and let's play so you see the chance right and uh, here change the chain here added to that with Filmora 12 you can also add keyframe to your adjustment layer and also add special video effect to the adjustment layer also okay for example if you want to do the keyframe for the white balance all you need to do is to click here to add the first keyframe to your adjustment layer and now you want to move some frame forward and then you can adjust the white balance for example i can reduce the temperature and also increase the thin to create a new keyframe here and this is the first keyframe and this is the second let's play it very nice right and you can also add special video effect to the adjustment layer also let's click ok and for example i can select the effect tab right here and now go to video effect 
and I'm going to select shake effect for example and now if I want to use this child number two all I need to do is to drag and drop the effect directly to the adjustment layer just click here and now the whole video will be shaking like this okay <laughs> very nice right so that is the second new interesting feature of Filmora 12 okay and the next one we have new AI tools okay let me show you just delete this one and this one and also this one I will keep this one so we have the new AI tool to remove the background of the video you can now select an object in your video and remove the background easily for example if I want to select this object and I want to remove the background all I need to do is to double click at the video to show the property and now we have the AI tools option right here just select it and then scroll it down we have the smart cutout tools right here so for example I can enable it and then I can click here and the next thing we want to select the brush size right here for example let's select 50 and now I'm going to select my object to draw here a line here to select the object okay so you select the object in my video and I can also adjust the egg thickness and X feather or stuff like that. And now we can click this button to remove the background of the video. Okay, just click here, start smart cut out. Checking processing. Okay, and then we can preview it to see. Very nice. And now we can click save to remove the background. Just click here, save. And here's the final result wow very nice and let's click ok for example now if you want to just put a video under it okay just put it here and now you want to move this video up and here is the background we can remove the background of the video and replace it with a new one so this is a new AI tools in Filmora 12 and I think it is very interesting especially for those of you who don't have the green screen background but you still want to remove the background of your video. Alright let's go to the next new and interesting feature of Filmora 12 is about the advanced keyframing. Okay for example let's delete this video and now we have this video. In Filmora 11 we have the keyframe option but it is only available for transforming the video but now in Filmora 12 we have the keyframe option for the effect also okay so let me show you for example here I have a video and now I can add a special effect and add keyframe to my effect uh, let's go to my effect tab and add a special effect to this video okay for example I can select a flicker effect uh, like this negative color all I need to do is to drag and drop the effect directly to my video okay and double click at the video to see the effect just double click and now select effect tab and you see here we have the keyframe option okay very interesting for example I can add the first keyframe for my effect at this position just click here uh, to add keyframe and now I want to move some frame forward like this and now I want to reduce the opacity of the effect or disable the effect okay just reduce the opacity to zero and I want to go some frame forward and increase the opacity of the effect also okay and now let's play the video to see the keyframe of the effect very interesting right and if you want to reset the keyframe all you need to do is to click here to reset just click here to delete all the keyframe for your effect. So this is the new and interesting feature of Filmora 12. And I think many of you will love it. Okay. All right. And the next interesting new feature in Filmora 12 is, is the audio stretch tools. So normally when you have a long video and you have a short background music. And if you want to loop the background music in Filmora 11, you have to copy and paste the background music. But with Filmora 12, you are able to stretch the audio easily. Okay. So let me show you. For example, I have a video here and this is the background music. And let's just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now if your video is longer than the background music, all you need to do is to select the background music here on the timeline. And then you want to click here at the audio stretch tools to enable it. Just click here. And now you want to move the mouse to the edge of the background music. And then you want to click and then 
is then it as long as you want easily and now you have a longer background music without cutting and pasting on the timeline so i think it is very useful especially for those of you who want to use the same background music for the whole video okay so let's come to the final chance in film trail at the export tab for example i have a project here and if i click the export option so this is your new export tab in Femora 12 and it is similar to Femora 11. By the way, there are some small changes right here. The first change is about the audio. Normally in Femora 11, you can only export MP3 audio, but now you are able to export WAV file also. Okay, so this is very good that they add this new audio format. All right, and let's go back to MP4. Okay, and the next change in your export tab is about the beat rate. You click here at the setting tab, and now you are able to select the bitrate mode uh, which is variable bitrate or constant bitrate if you want to change your bitrate mode all you need to do is to click this menu and then you can select constant bitrate or variable bitrate but normally i will select this option variable bitrate okay and finally at the export tab is about the quality compression okay in femoral trail you are able to select the compression quality just click this menu and now you can select low medium or high this option is very useful especially for those of you who want to get very small file on your computer okay if you select low compression quality your file size will be very small but normally i will select high compression quality because i want to get the best video quality possible okay i don't mind about the video size all right so that is everything i want to share with you in this first beta version of femora trail i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye